All right, guys. So now I'm going to be installing these adjustable brake and clutch levers on my 2014 Kawasaki Ninja 300. Mine has ABS. Don't know if you care about that or not, but here it goes. Should be simple enough. Just remove and replace the clutch one. Will be a little bit different than the brake one. And what you do with the brake is I've already got it started, but you got to remove your bottom nut and then continue to thread thread out your bolt. Bolts out. Let's set it right there for now. Let's go ahead and pour brake lever out. Looks about the same. Just a little bit shorter. So you just go ahead and stick it in like so. Grab your bolt. Go ahead and start threading it in. And even though that bolt that goes through this one right here threads in, there's still a 10 millimeter lock nut that's on the back. So go ahead and tighten that up. Not too tight. And there you have it. And you can always adjust this to how, however you like it. I'm going to tell you guys right now, it's going to feel a lot better. But I'll probably adjust it to how I want it when I'm riding. So let's go ahead and finish off with our clutch. Now this one will be a little bit different, but it comes out much the same. And just drop the nut. This is a little bit smaller, looks to be about a maybe a seven or eight millimeter. And we have that bolt out. Now you'll realize at the bottom that there is kind of a little slot for a clutch cable to go into, and I can show you this on the new one. So if you look at the new one right here, it's kind of uh, Kind of like a keyway almost. Well what you do is you essentially got to move the cable so it comes out. I did have to help it out with the pair of needle nose so let's go ahead and stick the new one back on. So now we have the new one in place the same way the old one came off and we're going to go ahead and just slide it back up like so. Go ahead and thread your bolt back in. And of course, don't forget to put your lock nut back on once you get that bolt back in. Let's make sure it's good and snug, but not too tight. It doesn't need to be too tight. And now, you'll have to figure out where exactly your clutch grabs and how you want to go ahead and adjust it. It was right about at the halfway point with the original clutch lever. So I might adjust it a little bit, I might not. I honestly just like these more for the form factor than I do the stock ones. Because as you can see, the stock ones are about maybe an inch, inch and a half longer. So these are a little bit more ergonomical, I guess. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this quick video.